This video has been made possible by Magellan TV. We at the Simple History team think that now is a great moment to showcase 15 of the deadliest prison weapons in recent history, which is what our newest video is all about. Magellan TV's new documentary, The Big Boss, covers Paul LaRue, the programmer who became a flagrant drug lord and weapons trafficker who ruled over the Philippines by bribing and paying off government officials and local authorities. Paul LaRue is now serving a 20 five years sentence in federal prison. Magellan TV offers 15 to 20 hours of new content like The Big Boss every week. They also have the largest history documentary collection out there, from ancient civilizations to modern times, and from in-depth biographies to sweeping war stories. By using the link in the description, simple history viewers can take advantage of a special Magellan TV holiday offer. Buy one, get one free gift card for an annual membership. Click on the link in the description to try Magellan TV now. Fifteen improvised weapons inmates built in prison. Any prison show watcher will tell you that inmates can get very creative when it comes to life on the inside. Prisoners use many tactics to survive, including brewing their own moonshine, forming unlikely friendships, and of course creating weapons either for protection or for their own murderous agendas. There are plenty of weird and creative weapons made by prisoners across the world. Let's take a look at the top 15 craziest prison weapons you won't believe really exist. Number 1. The Shiv Let's start with the most obvious and prominent prison weapon, the Shiv, or Shank. Shivs are makeshift knives created from everyday materials that many inmates carry to protect themselves from their fellow prisoners. The features of a shiv generally change from prisoner to prisoner, with many different items used in innovative ways to create these deadly weapons. In the 1950s, British criminal Billy Hill offered an account of how he used his shiv. I was always careful to draw my knife down on the face, never across or upwards, always down, so that if the knife slips, you don't cut an artery. After all, shiving is shiving, but cutting an artery is usually murder. Only mugs do murder. The most common shivs are made from sharpened comb handles, shards of glass wrapped in cloth, or a razor blade tied to the end of a toothbrush. But if, for whatever reason, prisoners can't exploit these designs, they get creative. In Wolfenbüttel Prison, Germany, around 1994, a shiv was discovered inside a hollowed-out cross owned by a religious inmate. His intentions, it seemed, were far from saintly. Also worth noting is the bizarre circumstance surrounding the Hard Sweets Jolly Ranchers. These American candies are now banned from multiple prison commissaries after it was discovered that inmates had melted down the sweets and reshaped them with a cold, jagged tip that could very effectively stab someone. Number 2. Boiling Water, Sugar, and Chocolate this harmful process is commonly known as jugging or the sugar bomb. If you combine boiling water with sugar, it creates what prisoners call napalm. Named after the real gelatin substance, the prison-style mixture forms a paste that clumps and clings to the victim's skin, burning them horribly. One recent use of this popular prison weapon occurred in 2016, when inmate Paul McManus poured the mixture over fellow inmate Robert Wallace's head. The victim was reported to have shouted, I can't see, as the mixture burned him. Another similar method of jugging involved melting down chocolate bars and throwing the boiling chocolate over other prisoners, which, like boiling water and sugar, hardened and stuck to them as it burned. Number 3. Chili Bombs In the UK, the fear of sugar bombs has now been taken over by the fear of chili bombs in prisons. Inmates would buy chili from the prison canteen and crush it in hot water or vinegar before spraying it in the eyes of their victims. The effect is like being pepper sprayed and, in extreme situations, can result in blindness. Number 4. Homemade Bomb 
Around Halloween 1995, an Illinois prison inmate named Peter Saunders went as far as to mail a homemade detonation device to Judge Blanche Manning after becoming enraged that she had dismissed a civil lawsuit against prison officials. Saunders created the explosive device by rigging a hollowed out book using a battery, electrical wires, and a marker pen packed with sulfur from ground up matches. The bomb almost made it onto the judge's desk before it was discovered. Somehow, it had managed to pass through several security checks, including a prison x-ray machine, before being finally noticed in a second x-ray machine in the building where the judge resided. Saunders' public defender claimed that the package wouldn't have caused any damage if it had ignited and was just a cry for attention. Number 5. Can Lids When you open a tin of something, you usually end up with a jagged edge lid, which can be so sharp, they're often used to cut food in prison kitchens, as the inmates aren't permitted to use knives. Of course, these are often stolen and smuggled into the prisoner's cells, as they make for handy little weapons that can slice quite deeply in a fight. Number 6. The Millwall Brick The Millwall Brick was named after the violent fans of Millwall Football Club. In the 1960s and 70s, UK football games were rife with hooligans and notorious for the extreme fights that broke out between the team's two opposing fan bases. Things eventually got so bad that anything remotely resembling a weapon was confiscated before fans could enter the pitch grounds. So the more enterprising footy hooligans created a weapon that became a favorite of prisoners in the UK, the Millwall Brick. The Millwall Brick is a simple, common weapon made with just newspaper, which is easily accessible to all prisoners. They would tightly roll the paper before wetting it under their cell sink. This would be repeated until you had a hard, solid knot of paper that had as much whack to it as a wooden club. Number 7. The Homemade Shotgun Peter Strudinger really didn't like life in prison. So much so, he attempted to escape twice using deadly weapons that were created from your common everyday items. Notably, during his first escape attempt in 1984 in Celle, Germany, Strudinger and an accomplice escaped using a shotgun made from the iron in their bedposts, pieces of lead from curtain tape, batteries, a broken light bulb, and the heads of matches. Despite his ingenious efforts, however, Strudinger was recaptured a day later in Bremen. Number 8. Zip Guns Homemade shotguns aren't the only guns found in prisons. Homemade zip guns and other small pistols are popular creations of inmates. Most of these zip guns are created using electrical wires, a nail, rubber bands, and matchstick heads with small bits of hoarded lead being used for bullets. A lot of them look nothing like the guns we know. They're small and are kept in separate pieces, only being assembled when needed. Number 9. Nunchucks in 2011, intrepid prisoner Lorenzo Pollard escaped St. Louis workhouse using nunchucks he'd made from a length of bedsheet and two chair legs. Unbelievably, Pollard kept over a dozen guards at bay by swinging the weapon wildly until he smashed a window using one of the chair legs, scaled two razor wire fences, and ran off into the sunset. Until a few hours later, when he was picked up and returned to his jail cell. Number 10. Anime Weapons Another case from 2011. This time, in a prison in Munmusher, Wales, guards were astonished to find a whole host of replica anime weapons created by an inventive prisoner with a particular fondness for the Final Fantasy series. The anime-loving inmate had painstakingly used hundreds of toothpicks to create at least six of these weapons. Although they were discovered before they were used, the prison's governor, Steve Cross, said they presented a genuine threat as they had been sharpened to points that could cause serious injury. Number 11. Coffee Creamer Coffee Creamer is now banned from a lot of prison commissaries after one too many inmates discovered another use for it as part of a flamethrower. 
It turns out that a lot of powdered coffee creamers contain animal fat, which can be lit on fire and channeled through a bit of tube to create a flamethrower effect. One assistant warden of a Texas prison once said the inmates would roll up a piece of paper, place some coffee made in it, put a cigarette lighter in front of it, blow it out, and it's just like a flamethrower. Prisoners could also toss a handful in the air before whipping out their lighter to create a fireball effect that could easily scorch someone passing by. Number 12. Dental Floss Dental floss is yet another item that a lot of prison commissaries have banned, as well as being used in many escape attempts. Due to its tensile strength, it can also make an effective weapon to choke out another prisoner or guard, or used as the hand grip on a shank. Number 13. A Knuckle Duster This one is considered particularly creative. Around 1993, a guard in a German prison uncovered a dangerous homemade rasp knuckle duster in an inmate's cell. The inmate had stolen the rasp tool from the prison's machine workshop, and using material ripped from their bed as padding, arched the rasp in such a way that it formed an effective knuckle duster. Being on the receiving end of a punch made from it could, no doubt, do some serious damage. Number 14. Gardening Glove even gardening gloves can be used to form dangerous weapons. Because secretly modified gloves look just like the ordinary ones, prisoners could carry them around without drawing much attention to themselves. Prisoners would sew one glove inside the other, but would line the inside glove with tacks or any other small, sharp, pointed object. The spiked lining would then easily penetrate the top layer, seriously hurting anyone on the receiving end of a punch or blow. Number 15. Toothbrush Crossbow Last but not least, we have the Toothbrush Crossbow. The Toothbrush Crossbow is one of the most inventive and complicated prison-made weapons in history. Created in 1998, it so impressed the prison guards that found it that they later put it on display in Canada's Penitentiary Museum, where it can still be viewed today. A prisoner at Stony Mountain Institute, Canada, was stuck in solitary confinement when he came up with a creative and deadly use of his time. Using a small list of everyday items, including 10 toothbrushes, a lighter, part of a ballpoint pen, a small piece of wire, some cafeteria tongs, yellow gloves, assorted electrical wires, a Kleenex, and a few screws, he managed to fashion what was effectively a fully functional crossbow. He created bolts for it using aluminum foil, tightly rolled paper, and Q-tips. Although the prisoner never got a chance to use his new creation, the prison guard that confiscated it had a go at the impressive weapon and reported that it could fire up to 40 feet. Imagine the chaos that would cause in the prison yard.